Hello again. Now the main stories in London. Police are searching for a woman who calmly walked into a chemist on the Strand, reached into a pram and grabbed a one-year-old boy by the throat. CCTV footage of the daytime assault has been released in which the woman also said the baby would rather be dead. The one-year-old wasn't hurt in the incident. Although the CCTV image of her, of her face is, uh, is not as clear as, uh, as, as we would hope, the clothing is so distinctive that anybody that met her that day is going to remember what she was wearing and it's such distinctive clothing that family, friends and neighbours would probably recognise that person again. Um, she was also wearing a distinctive deer stalker hat with the, the ear flaps down over her head. So um, it, it's a very distinctive image for people to remember. A 29-year-old man has been arrested on suspicion of robbery after a 93-year-old was mugged in the entrance to his home in Soho. Pensioner Stanley Evans was thrown to the floor for the £10 he had in his wallet. Yesterday, he told ITV News he would have gone after the mugger if he'd been fitter. The arrest was made in Camberwell last night. Labour's London Assembly policing spokesman has called on Boris Johnson to take immediate action to make the Met's police contact points more visible and effective. It comes after an internal review by Scotland Yard revealed that an average of 1.3 people use the police station replacement points every week. What we know is that some contact points and some front counters in police stations aren't being used. Now, if I'm going to staff somewhere, I'd rather those officers are in a place where the public are, where they're visible, where there's an opportunity for them to speak to the public who maybe haven't come in specifically to see them. A programme to help victims of gang violence in London has been given an extra £600,000 of funding today. The extra money will employ more youth workers to work alongside emergency staff and help encourage people to move away from gang life. And a legal challenge has been launched against plans to build a garden bridge over the Thames. The trust behind the £175 million project says it'll link cultural centres and tourist attractions from Temple to the South Bank. But a resident from South London claims the planning permission has been unlawfully granted. Michael Ball from Tulse Hill believes it will have a devastating impact as it will block the view of the city and St Paul's. The weather now with Manali Luca. No, I do not want to be a snowman's nose. Thank you very much. The cheek of it. Hello there, good afternoon. It's a beautiful day, the sun is shining and another dry, bright day ahead for tomorrow but things turn a bit more unsettled for Thursday. Windy with spells of rain. But for this afternoon, some beautiful sunshine to enjoy. The winds are light temperatures reaching highs of 8 or 9 degrees Celsius. So feeling pleasant enough if you're out and about. Overnight tonight, dry with clear spells, a patchy frost in places and then tomorrow another decent day ahead. Bright or sunny spells but you'll notice the winds start to freshen up through the course of the afternoon. Temperatures reaching highs of 9 or 10 degrees Celsius. Bye-bye for now. New Covent Garden Soup. Sponsors the ITV London weekday weather. That's all from us for now. On our website, watch the moment a jeweller uses a baseball bat to fight off two robbers. I'll be back with the latest at 6. Until then, whatever you're doing, enjoy the rest of your afternoon. Bye-bye.